we go. Hello. This is Howie Hawkins. He's been in the Green Party for quite a while. He's running for presidential 2020 election. Let's hear more about what Howie has to say. Okay, I'm a retired Teamster. Uh, worked construction warehouses for 50 years, but I've been active in social movements since I was a teenager in the San Francisco Bay Area where I came up. Civil rights, anti-war, early ecology movement, been involved in the Green Party since we started. I started this campaign, but we framed it around three life or death issues. The climate meltdown, and we're talking about a Green New Deal to get to 100% clean energy and zero emissions by 2030, because that's what the climate science demands. And I was the first candidate in the United States to campaign for a Green New Deal back in 2010. And then second issue is inequality. It's been growing. Wages have been stagnant for 45 years. Housing, healthcare, college costs have gone through the roof. So working class life expectancies are in decline, which is inexcusable in a country like this. So we have an economic bill of rights. But we're proposing peace initiatives, deep cuts in military spending, getting out of these endless wars abroad, pledging no first use of nuclear weapons and going to the other nuclear powers and saying, we're no longer a threat. Let's get rid of these nuclear weapons. Let's have mutual nuclear disarmament because if they're ever used, it's the end for all of us. This has been our signature policy in the 2010s. And then when the Sunrise Movement and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez sat in Pelosi's office, the media suddenly noticed it and it went viral. The problem is they took the slogan and diluted the content. They dropped the ban on fracking and new fossil fuel infrastructure. They dropped the phase out of nuclear power. They dropped the military spending cuts to help pay for it. And they extended the deadline from 2030 to 2050. Well, that was a complicated question. The Pew uh, polls find that around the world, we're considered the country most threatening the world's peace. That doesn't build peace. Now, we could be the world's humanitarian superpower. Our Green New Deal has $2 trillion over 10 years for the global Green New Deal. Help the global South leap out of the fossil fuel age of the 19th century into the 21st century age, the solar age. And basically go around and make friends instead of enemies and, and help people instead of trying to dominate them. We got to stop these regime change uh, operations. We need a major investment in communities that have been racially oppressed, discriminated, segregated, and exploited for generations. That's where some of that military spending cuts can be spent. Indigenous people lived on their lands for a long time in a sustainable way. So they have native uh, traditions that ought to be employed as we get out of the system we're in now into a system that's sustainable. So I think that's the approach that we would take if uh, me and my running mate, Angela Walker, were in office. Um, well, we are gonna let you go again. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, Aloha. And the rest of your campaign. Aloha. Mahalo nui. We did it, guys. That went great. <laughs>